right, welcome back everyone. This is part two of my Gotham Imposters um, review, whatever, of the beta. I guess you can call it a review. First impressions, yeah. And um, so as you saw earlier, the one match did not go well too well. And this, well, this match, I did work on. Not at the start, because I got the microphone thing here, and I don't know what the hell is going on. I picked a different class because I had roller skates, so I was like, I'll figure I'll try it, and it did not work. Not one bit. I could not get used to it because I moved so much fast with the roller skates, and I didn't know that this going was a three-round burst. And <laughs> as you can see here, I just failed hard with it. It was rough, so instantly I knew that this was not, you know, my default class. I got one kill with it, that was enough. And I was like, alright, we gotta we gotta try something else here. And I picked this scout class that has a submachine gun, and then I just, something clicked. I don't know what happened. And it, you know, it's it's nice. It's got three shurikens. It's I, I don't even know what the secondary weapon is. I, I don't think I ever used it. I just fell in love with a submachine gun. Did work with it. As you can see here, and just pull it out. I'm like, oh, damn. And um, oh, anyway, I should probably tell you about the game mode. This game mode is it's got this battery thing, and it's basically capture the flag with a little bit of a twist. Um, I don't know if anyone's ever played uh, Killzone 2, Killzone 3, where you capture a propaganda speaker, but it's 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 that. Um, Again, capture the flag, but you both have like a, you know, different things to bring it to, one flag, whatnot. Um, the catch is, you capture it and you bring it, this battery, to your, like, your core. And when it's at your core, you arm it, and it slowly charges up this core, and over like a minute or two, um, the enemy can take it away, disarm it. But, if they don't, basically they get a big old, you know, slap to the face. Because, oh, I don't know what the hell that was. It's gonna shit at me, so I followed it. But um, if your team gets the core activated with this battery, then it disables the enemy's weapons and equipment. Let me repeat that: it disables the enemy's weapons and equipment, so they don't have anything for like a, a whole minute or 30 seconds or something. I think it's like a whole minute actually. And all they can do is run around and slap you, which is hilarious. It sucks for the team, and I wish I, I wish our team did worse so I could show you because I don't even know what it's like to have, be confused like that but you'll see it later like they have like this confused look over their faces and they run around just trying to slap you and there isn't much you can do it's basically extra free kills for being awesome so it really really pays off to work as a team to get that done because you can get huge points um just massive points and that's how I got so many points this round as that happened and people like that you know run out in front of me and I get lucky but it is what it is so I know you can see here, I think it's coming up pretty soon. Oh no, it's actually going on right now. The little speaker thing means they're confused. So it's it's whatever. And I didn't know. I'm just, you know, first time playing this map and this type of game mode. It's ridiculous. I, I was confused as hell. I see here I'm about to get a big kill streak. Um, I don't, yeah, these guys are invisible. I, I think they're scouts. I think that's what I'm doing. Like, I have this, like, equipment that I have. And level up. Awesome. And I pour it on myself, and I don't know what the hell it is. It could be like fucking whale semen or something, but it's magical, and Gatorade should really get on that stuff. There it is right there. I don't know what's going on. I glow blue for a second, and then it's, it's ridiculous. I have no idea. But I kept did it, doing it, um, and whenever I did, like I would just... I started waxing ass, so I'm going to call it paw juice, because it makes you go paw. And that's pretty much it. But, um... Basically, this map is really cool. It's got a lot of platforming stuff, and you see, like, I was talking about in the last video, there's a ramp there. You saw earlier, there's trampolines, there's an air vent, you know, all the different things that, all the different equipment that, equipment that you can use is available for you, which is really quite cool, because it gets around the map pr pretty easily, and you don't see me use the grapple. I'm sorry, I don't think you see many people use the grapple in this area, mostly because, you have this big castle thing dividing the two areas, it's not probably the best, most useful. But you'll see later that, um, our building, our base, uh, that we're protecting with the core in it, our core and whatnot, uh, you can get in from the top, so grapple will be really useful there. And it's just so many different directions to go in through this. It's really a lot of fun. It's it's crazy. It really makes you think outside the box. And it's kind of nice. It makes you... There's really no one direct pathway to go, but the maps are still kind of small, so it's like you take all these different pathways and you still get there just as fast. It's it's really cool. And another really cool thing... Oh, here we go. I'm arming this, taking this stuff for a side. It's, I don't know what's that for. That's cool. So now we got to protect this thing. And when it counts down, then we should get like this bonus or something, or maybe we're already getting it. Shoot, I'm still not following. There we go with the paw juice again. Yep, they're trying to disarm it now. So, 
here we go, here we go. And I think there's someone trying to... Uh, yep, these people coming up. Yeah, this, this game is just so fast-paced that it's... I, I gotta play, you know, put at least a few more hours in it to realize what's going on. Um, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna pick this game up yet or not. It seems fun um, right now, but it's new also. And two-piece, eh. Oh, big points, big, big points. But, um, oh, here we go, more. Yeah, you can, you can see they're crazy. Like, <laughs> nothing they can do. I guess they can also slap the battery off of the, uh, the charger so they, they can get their stuff back. But it's so hard when you don't have anything. It really... Oh, and here, I have put on this rampage mode. I have no idea what it is, but I just got a headshot with it, which really pissed me off. I have no idea how to activate it, no idea what it was. Um, apparently you can change it. I don't, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. But it's basically a wax ass mode, really. Um, and I just want to throw a shriek just for the fun of it. But, um, oh, halftime, look at that, alright. Yeah, I'm commentating as I go. Um, yeah, you switch sides, we're up 2-0, I think we end win with like 5-0, and it's sweet. But I might just jump ahead and skip out. Uh, oh yeah, how do you guys like the new intro, by the way? The short intro gives me 10 seconds of, of video I can put up here, which really helps for the editing when I'm limited to 15 minutes and I have like 18 minutes of stuff I want to throw up. Um, yeah, I love it personally, but using that intro instead of the other one really helped out a lot. But um, I'm just doing work, doing work. I don't know why I'm talking, really. You guys are probably thinking the same thing. But, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, it's it's so fast-paced. There's so much to catch up on. i got to play a lot more to really realize if I want to buy it or not. And even that, you know, it's it, it, it's kind of a single-person game in a sense. But it would be really nice if you could get, like, a group of people playing this thing. Because it's a lot of fun and it's not... I mean, the way I see it being played, there, aren't, there isn't much camping going on. So it would definitely be... You know, one of those, you know, it's just fun to pick up with a bunch of people and just hammer out, you know, have a good time. It would be sweet if it was, like, split-screen online. That would be amazing. But I'm not sure. I don't even know. Like I said, never heard of the game, actually, before today when I was given this beta by Stink Meaner. Minor, whatever. Sorry, bro. But thanks again. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just... I don't know. I don't know when it comes out or, or anything. So if anyone can give me that information, I'm too lazy to look it up. That'd be great. Uh, it seems really fun, and I'm not sure if there's a campaign to it or not, but the multiplayer definitely seems like there's a lot a lot to it, and it's, like I said in my first, first part of this video, um, it's really got a mix, feels like Team Fortress 2 and James Bond Nightfire, um, just with the, the motions and how everything kind of work, it's, I don't know, very unrestrained, there isn't a whole lot of, you know, physics involved, I guess. <laughs> Sounds pretty bad, but it, that's pretty much what it is. Um, so yeah, it's it's definitely fun just to kind of run around and not have to worry about that kind of stuff, because there's really no inertia. There's really, you know, you don't have any delay when you're moving your gun around. It's just all extremely fast-paced, which is kind of a problem for me, because I'm used to, you know, like, not a stream that kills on three, but even with Battlefield or Uncharted, you know, you got that little bit of resistance in this game. There just isn't that resistance at all. It's all very, you know, just completely fluid. Um, almost too fluid. And I think I'm going to go around later when I get a chance and mess with around with the uh, actual, you know, what do I call it? sensitivity. Turn that down a little bit and see if I get a little better accuracy going on. Because, right, during these games, it was. It was pretty difficult um, getting really the hang of it compared to the other games. Uh, so you can see here I'm using the Paju still. We have been protecting this battery and I, I lose track of what's going on and apparently they get it like on the other side pretty soon here or maybe they already did. And I'm just like, what? No, okay, whatever. <laughs> you can see here, this is what I was talking about. You can go up from the roof. Um, yeah, take care of this guy. I don't know what he was doing. But this gun just is awesome and I still... Still not figuring what the pawn juice does. Might make you invisible. That'd be sweet. But I don't know why. Yeah, see they attach the battery. I'm like, oh shit, what the hell? I don't know what's going on at all. It is what it is. <laughs> but there's just a lot of points you get here. And this, I don't know what happened with this guy, but he had some sort of perk or something. Cause he was taking big bullets. I'm not sure what the blue color is for either. Maybe he was healing or something, but I couldn't kill him at all. Maybe that's like a rampage mode or something. I'm finally doing damage to him. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see me use the shurikens, those things are sweet. It's also boomerang that hits multiple targets. Um, yeah, and I ranked up, I think, 
almost three times this match. So at the end, you're going to see some of the customization you can do. I'm just going to talk a little about that now because I don't have a lot of time when I get to that point. But there's not a lot of guns right now in each category. There are quite a few categories, but not a lot of guns. And I'm thinking that they have a lot of open slots, but they're probably going to expand that a lot when the actual game comes out, considering that this is just a beta. But it's really cool because you, you can basically customize it right down to exactly how you want to play it. You know, all the guns are open for primary and secondary weapons, which is really nice. I mean, you have to unlock them as you go along, so you really got to rank up to take full advantage of this a lot. But it's it's pretty nice. There's a lot of flexibility with it, and apparently, your size of your character can really affect it. Uh, how you move and whatnot, and your attacks and all that sort of thing. So that's kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of Brink, even though I didn't play a lot of it, but a lot more, well, fun. <laughs> Brink kind of was a disappointment, but it, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if that depends on how much damage you can take either, because I know some people take more or less. Like the big guys, they they take more. That's for sure. Like, I hit this dude with two shurikens, and he just kind of ate it. Whatever. It is what it is. But oh, he's gliding away. And it also depends on how far you can glide and whatnot. So I think we're getting to the end of the round here. Should be pretty soon. You'll see some of the bonuses at the end and all that sort of stuff. Um, hopefully you guys can get a good feel for this game. Like I said, you just move around so fast. It's fast pace. It's hard to pick up on everything. And oh, here's this random gift box. No idea what this is. Um, apparently it's random. You got a defense point for it, but the game's over. So it's not like it matters anyway. Um, ooh, victory bonus. Didn't notice that before. So here we go. MVP, I was second, alright, I, I can handle that for my second round ever, I got a lot of points, and you can see like different character sizes and whatnot there, which is kind of cool, they ha they were able to customize theirs a little bit, at least w first player was, but so here we go, different weapons and whatnot, I'm just going to, I'm just quickly scroll through them, um, you can put different mods on them, paint jobs, and it, it's, it's kind of a lot like Call of Duty actually, as far as mods and stuff, but there's just some weird, really weird things on there, and you'll see one of the mods is like, a smeller or something I don't I don't even know <laughs> it's just crazy a lot of these this game is so comical that I mean it's it's weird you really just got to take a word for it it's really weird all the different things you hear and whatnot it's it's you know it's based off like the Joker sense of humor I almost want to say but there's like all these weird weapons um, the paint jobs are pretty cool they're basically the camos you have regular camos and then you have like You'll see it, these kind of skull-like camos and stuff, and hearts and whatnot, and it really adds a whole, you know, whole different feel to the game. It's not so much a military, it's just that casual, comedic, you know, whatever. And there's, you know, a bow. I wish I had that unlocked. That would have been sweet. So, anyway, enjoyed the last, I don't know, minute or so of this video. I'm pretty much out of things to say. But if you want to see more, let me know. Um, I'm going to be not doing a lot of videos as I'll be pretty busy over the first start of break so I'll try and stockpile a few up we'll see I'm not gonna be near my PS3 a whole lot but if you want to see more of this or anything else leave something in the comments I actually read them I really do so I appreciate you guys watching uh, thanks a lot subscribe like rate comment all that good stuff take it easy happy holidays